hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified when i drop updates on this is fate sharia tells he knows rajri has done this bunny and karina ask him to stop nidi calms down herself she wants to get rid of raki she's angered raki was defending rajri she gets sharia's call and asks if he's okay she tells she's coming to see him he asks her to not come and just tell him about Rajvi. She tells her I've locked Rajvi up in the guest room. Shoya heads to meet Rajvi. Rajvi is worried about Peter. He thinks she has left for home. Shoya meets him and asks if he has done it. Rajvi asks how he likes it by feeling the dramatic situation. He tells Shoya is feeling the pain that Parky had undergone. He makes fun of Shoya. Shoya beats him up in anger. They both get into a fist fight. Shoya threatens him. Rajvi tells he would not spare him. Risha reaches there and finds their fight and he stops them and asks Shoya to stay away. Karen asks Peter why he came here. She tells she has come to find Rajvi. He asks how she's related to Rajvi and asks her to answer. She gets interrupted by the fire sparks. He tells her they would go out and talk. He takes her aside to secure her and gets reminiscing about their moment. He asks her to give her hand to him and come with him. She holds his hand. Raki comes to see Rajvi and asks about Rajvi and Shuria's fight. Rishab asks her not to worry. She tells they can't solve the problem by fighting and scolds Rajvi and Shuria. Asks Rishab to leave and take Shuria with him. She wants to talk to Rajvi. Shuria gets angry and goes away. Rajvi asks Raki how they tell let Shuria, who is filled with ego. Raki slaps him and confronts him for his grave mistake. She tells Shuria would have lost his life. She asks him if he think about the consequences. That if anything happened to Sharia, then what would have happened to the family? She tells that she didn't expect this from him. She was wrong to think that his parents gave him good values. She loved him and saw her son in him. She used to think his parents are lucky to have a sensible son like him. But he has disappointed her by breaking her trust. He gets speechless. She tells he shouldn't do anything much again. She leaves him with a warning. Raju realizes he has hurt Raki, but he feels he was helpless. He had to make sure he realized his mistake and teach him a lesson. He doesn't think he did anything wrong. He promises to teach a lesson to Shuria very soon. Karan and Peter are stuck in the fire. He's very happy to meet her. He tells him he's very happy to see her, that she's alive. She thanks him for saving her life. He tells him Peter is alive. She gets perplexed. She doesn't remember Karan. Parky waits for Raju outside the Lutra house. He gets angry. He never listens to her. She worries for Peter. Sandy gets to see Park. He rushes to inform Shoya's family that Park is here and Rajvi has taken revenge on Shoya for her sake. Nidhi gets fed up with the dramatic Lutras and thinks to speak to her friend Arori and ask for a solution to her problems. She doesn't get a network on her phone and sees the smoke coming from the servants' quarters. She goes to check. Prita asks Karan about him. Karan tells she has identified him and asks. she asks about Shoya. He tells Shoya needs her a lot and he is glad that she remembers Shoya. Rishab stops Shoya. Shoya asks him to stop lecturing him. Rishab tells it's his love. He asks Shoya to do right and nobody would stop him. He doesn't want Shoya to behave kiddish. Shoya asks him not to interfere in his fight. Prita tells Shoya needs her. He needs love and guidance. That He adds that Shoya is spoiled because of overpampering. He loves everyone but he doesn't want to express it. That's why people see his, his mistakes before his love. But he is good-hearted. Karan gets pleased hearing her. She sees the fire reaching him and saves him. He cries happily. She asks why his eyes are getting watery. Karan also saves her from fire. She thanks him. So my question is, how would they get out from the fire? I be the good idea. Because this is word we don't understand. And then what about Rajvi? When is he going to know that the mommy is stuck? Alright, let's keep watching.